Tonight at 500s line up to remember and say their final goodbyes to David Dorn. The retired St. Louis police captain was shot and killed during a night of rioting and looting in the city last week. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Claire Kellett and I'm Corey Stark. Tonight's visitation for David Dorn is one of several big stories we're following right now. Also happening this afternoon, the body of George Floyd made its final journey in Houston to be laid to rest next to his mother. Floyd was killed more than two weeks ago while in police custody in Minneapolis. Protests for police reform in his memory continue here in St. Louis and all across the country. In Florissant, we're tracking growing calls for an officer's firing. He was seen here on video running over a suspect with his squad car. In just a few minutes, we'll hear from the town's mayor for the first time since this video was released. Happening right now, hundreds are coming out to pay their respects to retired police captain David Dorn. He was shot and killed during a night of violent protests one week ago. Our Emma Hoag has been at Hopewell Missionary Baptist Church all day. She joins us live there with more. Emma? Claire, it has been such a painful and emotional day for so many people out here. Right now, the line is still long, still stretching down the sidewalk here, and it's been this way since one o'clock today. Most people telling me they've waited about an hour to get inside. Today, I did speak with a former colleague of Dorn's. He said that he was almost moved to tears during our interview about just how much he'll miss his friend of nearly 50 years. I just feel like I lost a brother. While they weren't related, their bond spoke volumes. It's been one week since Jesse Nash lost his former colleague and friend of 50 years. I couldn't hold back the tears. I couldn't hold back the tears. I felt like I had lost a brother. Yeah, I just, it was just too much to bear. Nash says he first met David Dorn at the police academy before the two became neighbors. The beginning of what he knew would be a lifelong friendship. David was a fun looking, lo loving guy. He was, he loved to relax because him and I have uh, taken fishing trips and whatever together. Through the years, Dorn climbed the ranks within the St. Louis City Police Department before becoming the chief in Moline Acres. But even through his successes, Nash says Dorn stayed humble. He never did change. He got promoted, but he still was a regular guy. A regular guy with a yearning to protect others. The 77 year old was doing just that last Tuesday. He was shot and killed while guarding Lee's pawn shop in North City during a night of violent protests. That don't surprise me because like I said, he was a dedicated, fair person. He was very dedicated. And even while retired, Nash says Dorn was still caring for the community he calls home. Paying his respects today, he says, was just a small way to return that favor. I love him. That I love him and respect him. We, of course, have seen a showing of friends and family today, but also a big law enforcement presence coming out here to pay their respects. Right now, police are still looking for additional people of interest in this case. So far, they have made two arrests, but as you heard, Dorn was killed while protecting a pawn shop. We spoke with another business owner. She owns a business on Washington Avenue. She said Dorn protected her business for years. We'll have that part of the story for you coming up tonight. All new on News 4 at 6.